it's Nadine, your gal about town, and I am here at New Beginnings Boutique. I'll be heading inside to show you what they've got, and we will be uh, talking about what kind of products they sell and all that good stuff. So hang on. All right, guys. So we are now inside New Beginnings. Um, there are a ton of clothes in here: shoes, um, dresses, shirts, pants, maternity. Everything from size 2 all the way up to plus sizes, which I think is amazing because a lot of consignment shops won't carry plus sizes. So it's very cool that we have plus sizes here. Um, this is the second room. This is the back room. We've got some awesome handbags. Um, and this is where the plus size clothing is. Some jewelry in the corner. Some candles. And now we will pan over to the owner of this lovely establishment and let her introduce herself to us. Hi, I'm Cheryl, the owner of New Beginnings Boutique. Awesome. What was your main reason for opening this shop? Well, I have shop? my mission statement here. I can just tell you it was to sell quality used clothing and home decor items at affordable prices and reduce our carbon footprint by recycling and reusing. That's awesome. That's what my, and textile recycling is, is, is the one I am passionate about. And you, you pretty much upcycled all of your fixtures, all of your props, everything. all of your all of your everything. <laughs> yep. Everything I had in here was recycled. Um, I got I went around on Craigslist, I went to recycle, I redid everything, all my light fixtures, everything was bought secondhand. That's awesome. Now why do you think Southbridge needs a little store like this? Well, I think it just needs to, it just an improvement as uh, people can buy things at affordable prices um, and I keep everything is pristine everything I have a lot of labels here so you can shop here and you can dress nicely at an affordable price right you don't have to go buy a ticket label price no. and you're getting the same quality beautiful yep. beautiful you have, and you have a ton you have like I was saying you have all size you have all sizes oh yeah size zero up to 4x wow so that's nice so yeah. that's something for everyone is it only women's clothing all women okay all women's yeah. clothing so that's important yeah. to know um, but every size under the sun, pants, right. dresses, skirts, shirts. We have bathing suits. You we name it. Shoes. <laughs> we have pocketbooks, jewelry. I carry Brighton, um, Jahari, Banana Republic. All good names. That's Lee awesome. Levi jeans, Levi jeans, uh, Citizen of Humanity jeans, oh God, Lane Bryant, uh, just mother to be, guest yeah. uh, baby. Awesome. So maternity. Which is nice. Yeah, I mean that's really that's really important because especially maternity, you wear it for however many months you can fit into it, right? And then you're st you're stuck with it. So right. it's nice to be able to do something like that um, right. at a more affordable price too. Mm -hmm. If somebody has something they wanted to consign with you, how does that process work? All they do is they give me a call or they text me. Uh, my number's on the board outside. I set an appointment with them. I go through everything. I check everything. Everything in my store. There's no stains, uh, no smells, everything's been cleaned. Um, I check every zipper, there's no missing buttons, anything like that. I, I make sure that everything's in pristine condition. And um, I go through everything. I set my prices, which is really important, the way I get my prices. I go to eBay and I Google everything. I need everything in my store has been Googled. Oh, nice. And so what I do is I check what it's the selling price on eBay. Which, because everybody shops eBay, right? A lot of people do, and whatever that price is, I'll mark it for that price. If it's like say fifteen to thirty dollars, I might do eighteen, right, or nineteen. I'll go, you know, halfway. So that's how I base my prices. Awesome. So there's a lot of research. You're not just like willy-nilly putting a tag on there and hoping it's going to sell. You're really taking the time to investigate the product. What should it be, you know, selling for? Mm -hmm. If you were on eBay, you're going to have to pay shipping. If you come in here, you can just pick it up and take it with you. Right. So that's, that's awesome. Thing, yeah, I take into consideration if there's shipping on it. I might bump it up a couple of dollars because I can. Right. Because they won't have to pay the shipping. But I always keep it under the eBay price. Awesome. Um, we have LuLaRoe brand. I mean, a lot of the items in the store still have tags on them. That's awesome. They're brand new. They've never even been worn. That's incredible. Yeah. And so let's say I said to you, okay, I'd like to bring in some, I, we were talking about, I have a couple of Kate Spade handbags that I just don't ever use. I've used maybe once or twice. So how does that, how does that work? If I were to come in with you and you decided, okay, yes, this is what we'd sell it for. What's the, um, the consignment structure? Okay. So what I do is I, 
I price it obviously. And then after 30 days, this is how it works. After 30 days, it gets marked down 25%, unless the consigner doesn't want to do that. Okay. And they have the option of taking it out. They don't have to go to the 25% mark off. After 60 days, it gets marked down 50%. Okay. After 90 days, well, then it's down. That's the lowest it goes is the 50%. After 90 days, if it doesn't sell, then the consigner has the option of coming back and picking up their items. Mm -hmm. Or they can let me donate it. Awesome. So I'll donate it to someplace local. Okay, great. So that's awesome. Well, that's good to know because, like I said, I have some things that I just, I don't need them. I don't use them. I right. love them and they're beautiful and I hardly ever used them. And, you know, I'd, I'd rather see them in somebody else's hands. So, right. so that's awesome. All right. Anything else that I'm forgetting to ask you about that you want to share? Oh, okay. As far as, like, if someone sells something with me. Okay. <clears throat> the way that it works, it was a 50-50 split. Okay. Whoever consigns with me, they get 50% of the sale price. Um, they can call me every month and check what their balance is. They can get paid out, or they can have store credit. Okay, cool. Um, and that's about it. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. And you do the payouts only monthly, or do you do it no, okay, as you sell I'm it? Here, okay. If, if I'm here and I sell it, and they call me and I've sold it, yep. they can come in and get it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Um, I can't think of any other questions. I know your hours right now are kind of a little yeah. bit wonky, but yeah. hopefully becoming more steady as you right. as you move along. They will. I know, well, Saturday and Sunday I'm always open. Okay. Um, Wednesdays I'm open after 1230 normally, and um, Fridays I'm open, but just usually later in the afternoon. Okay. But Thursday's going to be my late night for sure. Awesome. Yeah. Excellent, which is why I was able to come here tonight, so yeah. yay. Yeah. Thank goodness for a late night, so I got out of work and just said, okay, I'm going to head over here and come visit. Right, right. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, yeah, this... It, it looks beautiful. I love Thank everything you. you've done here. I love the way you decorated it. Um, and so people know, even the stuff you have on your walls and stuff, like this is for sale too, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. So all of yeah. your decor is for sale too. Yes. Awesome. So you guys, there's like some really cool, just just awesome pieces in here. And you were saying like these, um, these, what do you call it? Like this? The decor? Like the swaggy yeah. thing and then that wreath thing. Like you it's made just, those yeah, yourself. Yeah, I made those. Yep, I, I got wood and, oh, well, the grapevine and stuff. And you just went, but yeah, I just that's beautiful. You know, kind of gather it together and tack it up. But yeah, that's cool. I try to. Um, I, I'm actually trying so hard to just recycle. That's my biggest thing. Yeah. You know, and I just think it, one of the things I want to do, and I, I have to look it up, is uh, donate for the dress for success. Yes. After the 90 days. Oh, that would be awesome. You know what I mean? I think if I can get in touch with them, you know, somehow somehow make an arrangement with them. So after the 90 days, if anybody doesn't want right. their items back, I can donate those. That would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great organization. Yeah. And even if you got in, like if you had any really fancy dresses, like I know Selfridge Tie has that prom closet they do. Mm -hmm. um, I know, it's, you know, I don't know how often they need, or how, you know, how many fancy things you'd get in, but that would be an option too, someplace to donate, so. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Thank you so much for taking the time to, uh, to talk with me. And um, if anybody wants to reach you, do you have a website? Or a, well, or a Facebook, Facebook page? Facebook, okay. New Beginnings. New boutique. Beginnings. Okay, boutique. Um, they can Google me there. My I have my phone is on the board, but it's 774-230-7460. Awesome. And I have an email. It's um, C-H-E-R-R-A-L-432 at hotmail.com. Awesome. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Everybody come on down and check this place out because she's got a great selection. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's definitely something here for everyone. Thank so, you. thank you. Talk to you soon. Thanks. All right, so that was Cheryl at New Beginnings Boutique. She has some amazing, amazing um, pieces of clothing and shoes and cute pocketbooks and some great jewelry and some cute home decor. Like, seriously, everything she has in there is amazing. So, make sure you come check out her shop. We didn't mention on the video exactly where she's located. Um, so just so you know, she is down, if you're heading down toward the Big Y Plaza, she is just before Napa on the same side of the street and, you know, kind of kitty corner across from the Dunkin' Donuts down there. Um, there's plenty of parking on either side of the building. So come down and, uh, you know, give the shop a look. There's some really, really awesome products. So thank you all for watching as always, and I will see you soon.